Hello, Air Signs. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you for being here for your love story tarot reading. This is going to be for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, and we're going to be looking at where you're at romantically at this present moment, where you find yourself, and what's to come in the future here. So it's very exciting to be doing this reading for you. Uh, if you're connected to or dealing with an air sign, then this video is going to be helpful as to what you can expect. Also, if you were after a private reading, please feel free to reach out directly. Otherwise, if you'd like to drop a like, share, subscribe to the channel, um, that would be lovely. Feel free to sign up for membership as well to get access, uh, uh, bonus readings, extended versions, etc. So um, I have laid out some cards here for you. And the present energy, the first card that came up here for you was the Empress. So you are in a period of growth right now here, Air Signs, and you're attracting a lot. You're attracting a lot of people or you're in a high vibration where you're you're wanting more in your life here. And a lot of you are possibly wanting to settle, wanting to have children, wanting to attract a very um, a powerful connection, a very lustful, very sexual connection. That's what's coming up around you with the Empress. I feel there's a lot of growth happening now, which is good. So a lot of you are working on yourself, okay? If there's things you've sort of been wanting to work on, wanting to improve, wanting to change about yourself, it's telling me that this is the perfect time for you to go ahead and do that uh, and make those changes. Once you do make that growth and once you start to attract a lot of people and a lot of different options come your way, eventually, however, you'll move to the Four of Pentacles where you'll want to settle down a little bit more and sort of keep to yourself. And this is about being more in a quiet period. You know, this is the talking stage or the commitment stage with someone here where you're sort of holding on to each other with that Four of Pentacles. Can be with an Earth sign here, okay? So a Taurus, Cappy, Virgo. Um, but I feel like with the Four of Pentacles, this is... You're coming, you're coming into a stage where you don't want to be so, you know, you don't want all the attention anymore. You're sort of just going to want to settle down with that one person and live a more a peaceful life together and do those sorts of coupley things um, together with that Four of Pentacles. You'll be in more private relationships. So, you know, putting your social media on private. Um, you might be posting a few pictures together, but it's more of an intimate, just with your friends and family, just the people you know. Um, and that's, you're really in your element here, Air Signs. You love when you're able to have that, um, you know, you're able to share that relationship um, with the people that you know so and, and, and trust. Um, there could be a um, creation stage that'll come next. So there's potentially a pregnancy with that Six of Cups here, um, or this is the building of a family that is going to happen. So planned and unplanned pregnancies, you might be connecting or meeting with someone who has children. Also, Six of Cups could be the past coming back in. Okay, so some of you may have an ex come back into the picture. You may hear from someone from the past. You may be rekindling a relationship from the past. Um, but ultimately, that Six of Cups is a really happy creation stage um, where you're maybe creating a business, creating a family, building a family, um, looking into family homes. This is happening quite quickly, I feel, for a lot of you watching. Um, and then the next card you have is that Nine of Cups. So this is you having everything you've ever wanted and everything you've ever wished for. Emotionally speaking, you're going to come into a stage where you're going to feel super, super fulfilled. Um, and I feel like something that's been very important to you in your life or something that's been very important for you to achieve in your life um, is going to be within your grasp. And you're going to be very happy with how that proceeds. The nine can indicate completion though as well. So for some of you, you might be exiting a relationship then. You may feel like you've gotten the most out of it and you're ready to move on to a different stage. Um, whatever you're ending or whatever you're beginning with that nine of cups or whatever sort of wish fulfillment uh, that's coming your way, it's something that you want. So we all want different things. It's going to mean different things to different people watching, but ultimately it's it's telling me that there is some sort of fulfillment um, that's going to come your way. The next stage you have is things may come to a bit of a a bit of a compromise or a bit of a sacrifice. There may be the surfacing of a love triangle or a third party situation, especially if one of you are dealing with an ex by the time that stage happens. The three of pentacles is here. So some of you may be, you may be moving on to a stage of planning a wedding, um, buying a home. I'm sensing offers and counter offers. So some of you may be putting a deed, uh, putting down a deposit, uh, getting a deed to a home. You're sort of making some sacrifices, some compromises of a monetary nature. Some of you may be going into business with um, your loved one and sort of building 
um, an empire together. So this is definitely coming across as that power couple kind of energy. Again, next card, Knight of Pentacles, will be followed by stability, which is good. So I feel like finding stability in your, like if you've got a business together, that's going to that's gonna be really good. You're going to get firm footing there, which is fantastic. And some, you know, you fall into more of a routine here. So, you know, waking up, preparing lunch, coming home to dinner together, you know, it's more of a routine life that you'll be living by then. Um, there's more stability in your career, which will bring more peace into your love life as well. So that's very exciting. But then it may come to a point where you're going to find some complications come up with that 10 of wands. Um, there is a sense of pressure that may come with this. So one of you may be wanting something more. One of you may be wanting something different um, and one of you may be starting to put pressure on the other. You're going to start to feel more pressure than you previously have um, in your relationship by that stage with the Ten of Wands. And it's almost like there's a big testing phase that's going to come up here for you. So it's a test of your relationship, a test of your strength, uh, but most importantly, a test of how far you're willing to go for the person that you love. Um, sort of how much you're willing to do for them with that Ten of Wands, how much love and effort and energy uh, you're willing to put into the connection um, or the relationship. Uh, it's going to pay off. It's a test of strength and it's going to pay off because ultimately you will find your happily ever after. You've got the Ten of Cups here. And let me just quietly point out, you've got the Nine and the Ten of Cups here. So this is whatever you've pictured your love life to be, finding that perfect person, having them love you, adore you, respect you, whatever it is, having children, having a family, um, having that relationship where it's adventurous and sexual and passionate and exciting. Whatever it is to you, this is a very beautiful outcome and it's coming up here with that Ten of Cups. So lots to do with things like um, children, uh, children, lovers. This is coming up very powerfully here. Um, could be a reunion here as well, but this is the rainbow. So I feel like you may, you know, it might have been a turbulent, a, a turbulent um, time with that Ten of Wands, but then it's sort of going to get better and then you're going to come up in that Ten of Cups energy. So that's wonderful. Um, and then the next card is the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a new chapter that'll come in shortly after that. Maybe a new addition to the family, a new home, a new destined job opportunity, a career. Could be a new person altogether here as well. Um, and it's coming up. It's got something to offer you here with that Ace of Pentacles. Ultimately, it's coming from spirit, but you're going to be receptive to what it is that you're about to receive there, air signs. Um, and then into the into the distant future, you've got the moon card. So this is creating a solid attachment. It's also the past or becoming a mother. And it's also having emotional security or you may come into a bit of a wobbly stage, um, not feeling as emotionally secure as you once did, or there may be another sort of testing phase you know, the moon can be complicated. It is a sign of cancer, um, but that's why I said the past. So it could be a destined cancer coming up in your future. Uh, it could be, um, the moon can also be like cycles and intuition. It could be that you become more intuitive and empathetic to your partner and therefore are sort of able to address, you know, any sort of problems or issues in the relationship, you'll be able to do it in a more healthier uh, way here. But um, I will leave your love story reading at that uh, air signs. Thank you again for watching. Um, lots of love and angel blessings. And until next time, bye for now.